The Ibra Cultural Day celebrated by the National Association of Ibra Student Nairs Federal University Local Jazz Chapter has been described as a step closer to sustaining the culture of the Iberas for generations to come. This was the conclusion of award recipients at the event, who also commended the efforts of the students at merging their culture together with their academic pursuits. Let's join our reporter Joshua Adenoy for the detail. As obtainable in most African culture, the annual Ibira Cultural Day celebration tagged a Papa Day 2023 started with the breaking of Kula Knot by an elder statesman. As the students entertain the people through their dance, melodious songs, and the sharing of a papa, a local delicacy made from beans majorly prepared and eaten by the Ibiras. <laughs> The Uhinoya Nebira of the National Association of Ibira Students, NAES, Federal University Lokoja Chapter, Yusuf Kashim, in his colorful regalia, appreciated those who made it to the event, describing it as part of efforts at ensuring that the culture of the Ibiras is sustained. <laughs> The event featured award presentation to some deserving individuals. Some recipients, Kogi State Commissioner for Water Resources, Abdul Mumuni Danga, represented by Omeza Peter, the Chief Executive Officer of Malakite MLC TV, who doubles as the Senior Special Assistant to Kogi State Governor on Electronic Media, Avoy Nwogu, Lieutenant Officer Momo Yakubu, the head of chemistry department, Federal University Lokoja, among others, described the event as a welcomed development. While pointing out that the sustenance and improvement of the celebration will serve as a step at revitalizing the culture of the Iberas, they stressed that the award will spur them to do more in the days ahead. I never knew that they are taking note of what uh, I've been doing. I'm doing it willingly because that's my passion. If I'm able to support, I will do. And this award given to me recognition of what I've been doing, according to them, to the welfare of the students, all I will say is for, for God Almighty to give me the enablement, the ability, the strength to do more. Because when you are giving an award, you are not giving to go and relax. You are giving so that you can do more. All other traditional food that we have, Papa Pass specifically, and if you are culture being displayed here today, but it's, it's, it, it gives us uh, a revival method to know that, in fact, historically we are still here when it comes to culture. Because people without culture are not culture. So I really welcome all the culture displayed here today. So we did not only be among other Ibira, you know, Ibira young Ibira, Ibira that have achieved some heads in academy, they will be, you know, a mirror to them so that they can emulate you know, this uh, important people. And I'm sure they are emulating because we were not here, we were not here we used to be uh, in the early days or a few years ago. and vote for their preferred candidate, or specifically uh, Usman Ahmed Rudu of the APC candidates, because this one is 
is our own. And it's somebody who we can always trust, it's somebody who can represent us and represent us. So this is just my advice. And to the students, I want us to uh, shy away from all vices, autism and all what are you that will implicate us as a, as a student and focus on our primary objective of being in school, uh, which is to study and obtain that certificate. In a similar development, Ibiras in the United States of America, USA, also staged a cultural display in the country. In a viral video, they were seen dancing to the beautiful tunes of Ibira Beats as they also sang the popular Apapa song. Proud of your own culture as well as traditions wherever you found yourself is everything. It helps in reminding yourself of your identity and as well contributes in cultural exports. I am Joshua Atinoi, reporting for MLC TV.